Now, food banks in our area are working around the clock to provide food and water for people impacted by the floods. Riagatane is live in Alcoa this morning, where Second Harvest Food Bank is preparing its first shipment heading to Cock County. Good morning. Well, Heather, the need for clean water in Cock County is dire right now. And this morning, this shipment will contain 22 pallets of cases of bottled water, which will go a long way in helping people throughout that county. One of the hardest hit communities out there is the small town of Del Rio, about 10 miles east of Newport. In a small East Tennessee town along the French Broad River. Everything just washed around and messed up. The magnitude of devastation can be overwhelming. I mean, you can't stop water like that. It can go where it wants to go. Lanny Church evacuated Saturday morning, returning to his home of 40 years looking like this. Huh. <clears throat> you can kind of look in there, you know. His floor turned to mush, his belongings destroyed in floodwaters. I didn't have time to take mush, <laughs> you know. Grab a few things, get on out. I mean, you don't have time to get much out anyway. Up the road at the neighborhood market. People are suffering right now. Owner Sonny Patel yeah. is doing what he can to help. Bread, milk. With his internet, ATM, and credit card systems down, he's relying on pen and paper and good faith that customers will return to pay for what they can. Some people come, some not, but I just help him out, you know. People helping people. That's just what this community does, according to those who live here. My wife and stepdaughter, they, we gathered up all of our clothes, you know, what clothes, it, you know, that we could spare, you know, to take and donate for the families that lost their homes, you know, that didn't, you know, that ain't got nothing. Homes and belongings may be gone, but one thing the people in Del Rio will tell you they'll always have is their resilience. Try to restart again, yeah. That's all you can do. A strong community out there, certainly still in need of help and donations. And speaking of, this shipment from Second Harvest will be leaving here at about 7 o'clock this morning, headed into Cock County. It is going directly to the main distribution center that's been set up there. That's at 613 West Broadway, which if you're familiar with that area, it is the old Walmart building out there. And that is where anyone in the community can pick up any clean water for the rest of the week, every single day from 11 to 6. Heather. It's going to be a great resource for people there. Thank you very much, Raya.